Thanks for joining me again this week, and I want to wish everyone a happy and safe Thanksgiving holiday. Last weekend, we kicked off the holiday season with our annual Thanksgiving parade in Silver Spring. People marching with me carried signs saying what they were thankful for. I didn't carry a sign, but I'm thankful for the positive changes we're seeing in Montgomery County and grateful for the opportunity to be your county executive. I've been on three economic development missions to Asia this year. I consistently heard that Montgomery County is recognized as a diverse, inclusionary, safe, and welcoming place. We have a reputation as not only a great place to do business, but to raise a family and receive a world-class education. And one of the great things about this county is that we try to look out for each other. Unfortunately, there are still many among us who are struggling. One such challenge is food insecurity. According to the Capital Area Food Bank, about 23% of people in our county experienced food insecurity at some point during the previous year. This is a shockingly high number and one of the reasons we've invested significant resources in food security. Nevertheless, we're hearing from our food resource partners that demand for food resources continues to grow. Many families have lost the federal aid they were receiving since the start of the pandemic to help with their needs. And we continue to see an increase in the demand for servicing those experiencing homelessness. I can't imagine where we'd be if we had not built a new shelter that opened last year that could house 200 people. It is consistently full and there's a waiting list for people looking for transitional housing. I know that we'll work as a county to continue to help as many people as possible to find a way out of homelessness permanently. Find ways to end hunger and make greater use of our many resources here. President Kennedy once said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. We partner with hundreds of community organizations throughout the year to provide vital help to our community. And I'm grateful to all of the community groups, nonprofits, houses of worship, and volunteers. I encourage you during this holiday season and throughout the year to volunteer some time to donate your resources to help neighbors in need. Additionally, as we travel and gather for this holiday, I want to encourage everyone to please continue to remember that we are still living with COVID in our community and consider those amongst us who may be vulnerable to this virus. I also want to remind everyone to not drive impaired. Montgomery County and Maryland State Police will be on the lookout for impaired driving. Driving while under the influence is illegal, unsafe, and potentially deadly. We want everyone to have a festive holiday, but to celebrate safely. Happy Thanksgiving. This week, Montgomery County Police Department launched its first responder drone pilot program. A team of pilots, video techs, and emergency responders will be able to assist on 911 calls using drones. The drones will enable us to quickly get eyes on the scene even before police officers arrive. As the program begins, police will focus on using the drone in downtown Silver Spring and Wheaton before potentially using them elsewhere in the county. Police have said that by using a drone, it could help them determine whether or not police officers are needed on the scene. A microphone and speakers will help remote first responders communicate with people at the scene. Drones can also help in providing responding officers with real-time information about what's happening, improving safety. And a drone can follow a suspect if they leave a scene before the police get there. At the same time, there are rigid guidelines for what the drones won't do in order to protect people's privacy. Cameras will be pointed up until the drone arrives on the actual scene. Drones will not be used unless they are called to respond to an incident, and they will not be flying constantly and taking pictures of people. For more information about our new drone as a first responder program, please visit the Montgomery County Police Department webpage. I was in Asia when it was announced that the new FBI headquarters is headed for Prince George's County. You may remember Governor Westmore announced his public support for the project while in Bethesda for an event in February supporting the Institute for Health Computing. I'm glad the right decision was made to locate the federal headquarters in Maryland, besides fulfilling a priority set forth by the federal government to make racial equity one of the guiding factors in the selection process. There's also an economic benefit to the relocation of more than 7,000 jobs into our state. Montgomery County has benefited from being the home to National Institutes of Health, 
U.S. Food and Drug Administration and other federal partners, a strong Prince George's County economy is a benefit to our region. This move is a win for Maryland overall, and I look forward to seeing the impact it makes in the years to come. This Saturday is Small Business Saturday. This year, I will continue my yearly tradition of touring small businesses in our county to do my holiday shopping, meet with owners and employees, and learn how the county government can better assist them. I tour small businesses and meet with owners throughout the year already, but now is the time of year when we make many of our small retail businesses uh, the majority of the trips that we're gonna take because the majority of their sales and revenue occurs at this time of the year. A 2022 QuickBooks study showed that up to 65% yearly of small business revenue comes during the holiday season. Not only is shopping local important to our local businesses, but it's also critical to our county's economy. Every dollar spent at a Montgomery County business, about 70 cents of which stays local. Of every dollar spent at a national corporation, only 40 cents stays local. That is a significant difference. So I encourage you to go to visit Montgomery's website and search Small Business Saturday to find out where to shop local throughout the holidays. Shopping small and local is good for our environment, our efforts toward equity, and our economy. We don't have any changes in the COVID situation to report. It's still with us, people are still getting sick, but the number of cases, number of fatalities remains low. We continue to encourage people to get vaccinated if you're not current on your vaccines, because COVID can still be deadly. It remains more deadly than the flu, for example. So that's our wrap for today, and I hope you have a wonderful and safe holiday week.